Eov, Job 15. Then answered Eliphaz the Temani and said, Should a wise man utter vain knowledge and fill his belly with the east wind? Should he reason with unprofitable talk or with speeches wherewith he can do no good? Yea, you cast off fear and restrain prayer before El. For your mouth utters your iniquity, and you choose the tongue of the crafty. Your own mouth condemns you, and not I. Yea, your own lips testify against you. Are you the first man that was born? Or were you made before the hills? Have you heard the secret of Eloah? And do you restrain wisdom to yourself? What know you that we know not? What understand you which is not in us? With us are both the gray-headed and very aged men, much elder than your father. Are the Consolations of Ael, small with you? Is there any secret thing with you? Why does your heart carry you away? And what do your eyes wink at, that you turn your ruach against Ael, and let such words go out of your mouth? What is man that he should be clean, and he which is born of a woman that he should be righteous. Behold, he puts no trust in his Kodashim. Yea, the heavens are not clean in his sight. How much more abominable and filthy is man, which drinks iniquity like water? I will show you, hear me, and that which I have seen I will declare. Which wise men have told from their fathers, and have not hid it. Unto whom alone the earth was given, and no stranger passed among them. The wicked man travails with pain all his days, and the number of years is hidden to the oppressor. A dreadful sound is in his ears. In prosperity the destroyer shall come upon him. He believes not that he shall return out of darkness, and he is waited for of the sword. He wanders abroad for bread, saying, Where is it? He knows that the day of darkness is ready at hand. Trouble and anguish shall make him afraid. They shall prevail against him as a king ready to the battle. For he stretches out his hand, against El, and strengthens himself against El Shaddai. He runs upon him, even on his neck, upon the thick bosses of his bucklers, because he covers his face with his fatness, and makes collops of fat on his flanks. And he dwells in desolate cities, and in houses which no man inhabits, which are ready to become heaps. He shall not be rich, neither shall his substance continue, neither shall he prolong the perfection thereof upon the earth. He shall not depart out of darkness. The flame shall dry up his branches, and by the breath of his mouth shall he go away. Let not him that is deceived trust in vanity, for vanity shall be his recompense. It shall be accomplished before his time, and his branch shall not be green. He shall shake off his unripe grape as the vine, and shall cast off his flower as the olive. For the assembly of hypocrites shall be desolate, and fire shall consume 
the tabernacles of bribery. They conceive mischief and bring forth vanity, and their belly prepares deceit.